And tomorrow, 1,600 students will graduate from Santa Clara University. And that includes a 14-year-old who's not even old enough to drive. Today in the Bay's Bob Riddell joins us now. And Bob, I understand he's going to become the youngest person to ever graduate from Santa Clara. Correct. We're talking about Kyron Quasi. He's a 14-year-old boy from uh, Pleasanton with an IQ that is ranked in the top one-tenth percentile of the general population. Now, while most of his peers just graduated middle school, tomorrow he will receive his bachelor's degree with a job already lined up at one of the country's top space companies. Kyron Quasi was speaking full sentences at just two years of age. At age nine, his parents had him tested and found him to be profoundly gifted. At a very early age, he was recognizing advanced mathematical models that I was very impressed with, uh, but obviously I didn't have a point of reference. I thought, okay, this is normal. But it was not. At age 10, a pediatrician recommended college to keep up with his accelerated learning. The major problems that we After see one year at Las Positas College in Livermore and three years at Santa Clara University, Chiron, who is just 14 years old, will graduate with an engineering degree and a job as a software engineer for SpaceX, a highly competitive company with an acceptance rate of less than 1%. There is this conventional belief that I'm missing out on some sort of noble vision of childhood. But I'm really here to tell people that that's not true. Again, outside of um, academics, I have a fairly normal life. This path invites a lot of vitriol, especially online. Uh, but we try to keep our head in the long game, meaning um, what does Kyron want to do? What is best for Kyron? And how can we best shepherd and guide that path that our son is telling us that he needs to thrive. My journey wouldn't have been possible without um, people in the influential positions looking past my age and looking instead at my abilities and my achievements. And so I want to pay that forward in my career. So Marcus and Laura Kyron will soon relocate to Seattle to start his job at SpaceX, where he'll be working on the company's Starlink satellite internet service. Uh, he tells us he's really excited about the future applications of satellite technology and the further advancement of what he calls the democratization of access to communications. I mean, <laughs> full sentences at the age this of two. Kid, I can't amazing. wait to hit that milestone. And also just the confidence that he has. I mean, there are people who, whether they have PhDs or not, and much older than he is, uh -huh. they can't sit in front of a room and, and present something. Well, the way he holds himself. Yeah, yeah, it's exactly. just it's it's really cool to see. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck to him tomorrow. I look up and to the other 1,599 <laughs> students. <laughs> right. wow. Congratulations to him. Yeah, that's All really right. exciting. Good Thanks, Bob. That.